let's begin with the video welcome to the channel so uh, this video is specifically uh, for the new joining mbbs batch 23 24 so i uh, okay, i welcome you medicos so let's begin with this code it can be one day or day one it's always your decision so today i'm going to tell you about the textbook for your first year of MBBS, there are basically three subjects in first year anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. Moreover, uh, community medicine also they will be teaching you, but these three are the main subjects. Uh, for these three subjects, you will be giving the university exams. So, uh, beginning with anatomy, anatomy you will be having general anatomy, gross anatomy, embryology, histology, osteology. You may need atlas of anatomy and dissection manual for dissection. Coming to general anatomy, so uh, basically, whichever medical college you will go, the books, textbooks which you are going to follow, it's mostly depend on two things. First, what your seniors are following, so eventually you will be following the same. And second, which book is good for you? After, like I have given two examples, B.D. Chaurasia and Vishram Singh. Some of them uh, like B.D. Chaurasia, some of them like Vishram Singh. As my seniors have told me and which I uh, also felt that Vishram Singh, in Vishram Singh the diagrams, you can, it is reproducible in the exams. So it's easier for you to uh, use it in the exams because in anatomy it's all about diagrams. Uh, when you come for general anatomy, you can choose any one of the, uh, any one of these, Vidhi or uh, Vishram Singh. For grass anatomy also, uh, basically two choices only. There are many books, but uh, in most of the medical college, either they uh, use B.D. Chaurasia or Vishram Singh. B.D. Chaurasia is a fantastic book. Each and everything is uh, given in that. And uh, actually that will help you a lot for your niche PG or next exam. It's not like Vishram Singh don't give uh, everything. It has given everything. But one plus benefit of Vishram Singh is that it has given point wise and it will be easier for you to read it learn it and reproduce the diagrams and the content in your university exams that's why most of the students in, uh, nowadays are pre preferring Vishram Singh I myself used Vishram Singh coming to embryology you will get uh, some questions of embryology in your university exams and it's very important and I would suggest you to uh, be thorough with embryology because it is going to help you in your OBG but it's not like OBG will be a fine area subject only, so you can read, you can read it uh, later. In your second MBBS, you will be having clinical postings in which in OBG postings, if you know embryology, it will be very useful for you and it will help you in your uh, postings, clinical postings. There are two choices, uh, either IB Singh in the Veer Singh or EK Datta. Whichever suits you, you can go uh, go with it. I had IV Singh, but I used AK Datta also because some of the topics are very, it's given a very concise way in AK Datta, so I liked that. Histology, uh, for the diagram that H any &E blue and uh, pink shades of your life in uh, first MBBS. So, for histology, uh, our college suggested us to have a first atlas of histology from which we had to draw the diagrams. But some of the students also used in the base things. So any one of uh, them, you can use it. Moreover, histology, you uh, you should know. Uh, you have like in your practical examination, you will be given slides from which you have to identify which slide is of which uh, specimen. Then write a few answers about that. Like OSPI thing will be there. So it's better that you focus on histology right from the beginning only. For osteology, I have written B.D. Chaurasia, Vishram Singh and I.V. Singh. You do not need a special book like for only for human osteology, uh, osteology of I.V. Singh or something like that. After each chapter or before each chapter, Vishram Singh used to give like if you are reading upper limb, then all humerus, radius, and line, all the bones. The uh, book itself will tell you uh, all the basic and all the important things about that. So you need not have a additional book for osteology. Both B.D. Chaurasia and Vishram Singh is uh, enough for it. Atlas. Every senior will suggest you to have an atlas of anatomy while reading, while making notes. 
or while seeing a video if you have an atlas you have opened an atlas and you are correlating it how it is uh, anatomically how it is present in the body then it is going to be very helpful for you and it will retain for a longer time same thing if you read your atlas prior to the dissection and prior to the dissection if you read your dissection manual it is going to be very easy to uh, learn on the cadaver so that you will know what to look and where to look on the cadaver so there are basically three options here i have given uh, netus atlas grants and grays netus is uh, which i followed so you can go with any uh, you need not buy this but if you have it's a very uh, good thing you can uh, issue it from your library so i i prefer that only i issued it from uh, library only so once you go to your college just look upon these books and see which books is appealing to you which book you are uh, more comfortable with and then you will be uh, in a position to uh, decide which book is for you coming to the dissection manual dissection manual is sometimes mandatory in dissection hall otherwise you will not be allowed to enter depends on the college uh, wise uh, in our in our college cunningham's manual was mandatory and it actually helps you as i said earlier you should know what you are looking in the cadaver then only uh, there is a meaning of dissection it's not about just cutting it cutting and slicing it open no you should know what you are looking for which nerve which artery which vein is there what to uh, find there in particular what uh, in the particular field so i use cunningham's manual but uh, uh, thames dissector is also very good my friend used that and uh, it's a very nice book it has given in a detailed way so you can go with any of them now, apart from the books there will be something like uh, dissection kit which you will be needing for uh, your dissection classes in the dissection kit this is the basic it should have a pointed forcep a tooth forcep blunt forcep one scissor is enough actually scalpel with some scalpel blades and a probe along with it gloves you may may not need it depends upon uh, how you uh, mm, depends upon uh, are you comfortable with the formalin or not mask initial days you may require it after that it becomes a habit so you will not require it measuring tape for surface anatomy it is very important for surface anatomy also there you don't need a specific book in vishram singh and uh, vidhi chaurasia after end of the chapter surface anatomy is given or end of the book surface anatomy of all the uh, important surface anatomies are given so you need not have a separate book for surface anatomy but measuring tape is important for that then a ruler for uh, surface anatomy ruler. now coming to biochemistry biochemistry basically uh, you can use like some of them will tell you vasudevan chatnara and lipincourt i used uh, vasudevan and my friend uh, uh, some of my friends use satnarayan also so you can choose any one of them it's a very nice book and you stick to one book whichever book you prefer and read and it's not about which book you are reading it's about how many times you are revising that book how many times you are going through the content again and again that what counts so i suggest either vasudevan or satnarayan Coming to physiology, physiology, uh, there are some gold standard textbooks like Gaitan Hall, Genong's. There are some books in MBBS which you should have read at least one time. In first MBBS, that is one is Gaitan and Hall, or you can say Genong. Any one of them, at least you should know about that because it is going. If you have read this to any one of these two books, then it will help you in your pharmacology in second year or in medicine in your final year. So. You can either go with Guyton and Hall or Genomics, but then comes a question for your university exams. Some of the students feel like uh, it's not easy to write answers from Guyton, so for that you can use G.K. Paul or A.K. Jain. And uh, for your practical classes, there is one book for by G.K. Paul, textbook of practical physiology. It is very good, and uh, uh, you should uh, you may use it. Uh, the first one, the first book is the G.K. Paul. The second one is the A.K. Jain. Third one is the G.K. Paul uh, uh, Practical Physiology. These things are good to have if you have. It's uh, 